It wasn't easy being Rolly sometimes. Being the only chubby one of all the 99 Dalmatian pups that was living on the farm he found himself often being the big pun intended joke, with his fatness being nothing but a never-ending source for fat jokes from his brothers and sisters. And sadly it seemed like the ones that made fun of him the most was the ones that was his closest friends Lucky, Cadpig, and Spot, as it seems that they never really saw how the endless nicknames and snickers was actually hurting their well-fed friend. But this was all about to change as Rolly had just been thinking out the perfect plan to teach the three of them a lesson. What had happened some time later was that Rolly had informed the three of them that he had something very special planted by the old silo, and that he was hoping that they all could be meeting him there in a few moments. As the two Dalmatians and Chicken came over to the big abandoned thing they were all more than very curious to what Rolly had been planning for them. Upon entering they found Rolly sitting right next to some small metal hatch, and he explained that he wanted to play a little game with them. You may not believe this, but I actually save some of my food portions to be used later. Rolly said, and already there he could notice a small cracked smile from Cad Pig over how she couldn't fully believe that fact. But he decided to still keep on talking like it was nothing. And I thought that what better way to use all this secretly stashed food than to have a eating competition. He accounted greatly, and all his three companions seemed to be up for it. What will happen now is that I will open up this door, and as soon as the food keep pouring out it is all paws on deck to start chewing down. First one to get to the final crumps wins. Rolly said before hitting he door handle and opening the door. And as soon as that door opened up a smaller tsunami of dry dog food bits was rushing out, and almost filling up the entire room they were in. Almost immediately all of the dog plus the hen was starting to chow down and try to win this game. Lucky was going for big mouthfuls that he was then slowly chewing down and swallowing at a consistent pace. Cad Pig was eating like a small machine, as she was just stuffing, chewing, and swallowing her smaller mouthful portions as quickly as possible. Spot who was the only nun dog in this had her own special tactic of taking one bit at a time, and swallow it whole. Giving her the actual quickest pace to clean the room of the threats. And Rolly was, not eating very quickly at all. In fact, he was a lot more relaxed and calm in his eating. Almost like he had forgot it was a competition here and just wanted to enjoy his food. This went one for about ten minutes until Cad Pig was the first one to fall over backwards from an overstuffed belly. Then five more minutes later Spot felt that her skinny legs couldn't carry her weight any longer, and she collapsed to the ground. Lucky continued eating and eating until he too finally was feeling very short on breath, and when he was about to take a deep to get some air he instead let out a loud burp before he too ended up getting too tired to go on. After some hours had passed the stuffed trio woke up to see a very pleased Rolly staring at them. Looks like you won, big guy. Lucky said as he clearly remembered Rolly still being in the race before he passed out. Actually I never tried to win this thing. I just ate for myself while watching you three getting crazy for first place. Rolly said which made all of the other three very confused over why he even did this in the first place. Then why did you? Lucky was asking before Rolly filled in with, had this competition in the first place I did it so that I could ask you all who the real big guys here are. And the other three didn't first get what he meant, but a quick glance at themselves made them understand fully. Their own obsession with winning had ended up making them all end up with super fat bodies. Cad Pig was truly living up to her last name, as she had a face with just as many chins and puffy cheeks as the pigs on the farm. Spot looked like an overstuffed turkey for Thanksgiving, with her swelled wings and legs. And Lucky was even larger and fatter than Rolly now, with his super round belly and behind. In fact, all three of them were now fatter than the so-called fattest dog on the farm. How come you didn't gain any weight when we did Lucky asked as he tried to stand up with his now huge belly taking up so much space, 
and Rolly responded with that he simply ate not more than what he himself wanted. You see. You might think that just because I enjoy eating more than the average pup I must have this drive inside of me to do nothing all day than to eat, eat, and eat some more, but that's not true. I in fact many times like to put some of my food portions aside so that I can enjoy them later when I want to. Which is why there was so much in this silo to begin with. I might love food, but even I knows when to put some kind of limit and resistance to when too much really is too much. Rolly explained, and during his speech all three of his now overstuffed friends seemed to feel very, very sorry over their past treatment of their friend. Rolly. Lucky said before having a hard time with words. I think what Lucky is trying to say is that we all, as a group, feel that we are very. Cad Pig was adding before even she too ended up getting her words stuck when she came to a very certain word. That we are sorry for being so mean to you in the past. Spot finished up, apologizing for the whole group. Thanks guys. Having you all understand how I feel and being sorry for what you did in the past makes me feel a whole lot better. Rolly said. So what do you do now Spot asked her two just as fat companions, with Cad Pig half kidding suggesting, maybe go on a diet. That's when Lucky decided to speak up and say, how about we start that diet tomorrow, and in the meantime we spend the night trying to see which one of us truly can be the one eating the very last piece of dog food in here I have nothing against being like this for at least some more time. All of the other youngsters were fully agreeing on that, as they all immediately started digging in like crazy into the dog food once again. With even Rolly playing along for real this time, as he wanted to prove once and for all that when it comes to food nobody would ever beat him in it.